Hi, what I want to do tonight is just explain how I got into the um, Hornby 00. Um, it was only, well it's less than a year, I've been collecting less than a year and I have a fair bit, I've got one, two, three, four, I have seven working locos which um, I don't think is too bad. If I was to want to go out and build uh, a new type of railway with some of the modern locos, well, I, I probably couldn't afford it nowadays. Um, it, they're really lovely with all the sound and all the rest. I know I'm building the Class 33, but it's a one-off loco. And um, it'll be worth, hopefully, a fair bit when it's finished anyway. But it's just something that uh, I used to drive them, so I wanted to build. But... I also like model railways um, and I just thought the Hornby 00 fit the bill. Uh, I like um, the way they're made, they're heavy duty, they make a lot of noise when they fund around and there's lots of YouTube um, videos out there of, of just running around. You can just watch people's railways and I just got fascinated by that and then started to explore. Well, the prices, they go from one end to the other. Um, for instance, I bought this Kobo Loco, um, which was a two rail. The difference being of the very old three rail, they're not so detailed, they're just a kind of plain. So this has got a bit more detail on it. Um, this was a two rail and I converted it to a free rail so you can see the spoons in the middle there quite simple to do on this one um, I've had to just fit that in between because this one wasn't uh, made ready to uh, to adapt straight into a free rail but um, it's still quite easy to do so um, so we're buying all the bits and pieces probably this has cost me under 60 pounds with the postage and various other bits and pieces to get a loco whereas a lot of them are 140 150 pounds if you buy a genuine free rail especially if it's boxed i've got lots of boxes but i'm not too worried about the box because i just want to build a sectional railway my plan is to buy some sectional pieces of baseboard fix the track to it and I will have like an oval type track so that I can run and test. And then I will then have a section that you can add into it so that you can then have like a branch line going off. So you could have two people operating the railway or if you were going to a small exhibition or something, you could run a bigger railway. But um, we will be working on that over the next few months because I, I will start buying the sections and we'll work through making up the boards, uh, painting them, fixing the track, and anything else that, that, that needs doing. So that's that's a Kobo. Again, converted, and it runs very well. Um, I'll just put it on the track, give it a little run, just to see. I like just watching a lot of these things running up and down. Um, let's see if that goes. Yeah, straight away she's running. Okay, so that's just uh, again another two rail converted to a three rail, and of course at a great price in the end. Um, similar to this one, I, I bought this quite cheaply and then converted it myself. I mean, I've seen some of these go for about a hundred pounds, but um, which is uh, a fair bit. I don't want to pay a hundred pounds for a loco. The same with track and points. My I go to two free sources basically. Toy fairs, because you can go to a toy fair, you might even find a box. Somebody's got a box of Hornby Double O and you can offer them a price and you'll get loads. Some of it might be total rubbish. You buy loads of track, bearing in mind some of this track is extremely old. Um, <clears throat> so you don't know how good it's going to be. You might have to sit there for a few hours straightening out bits. I mean, you can see this is quite a warm piece of track. But when I'm fixing it or running, what I do is I've, I put a few pieces together, put a current for it, clean the track, 
and then run something on it to see how good it is. Points, I've got loads of points um, which I buy. I go to um, a toy fair and I can get them in a bag um, for a pound, one pound fifty, two pound. Or my other place is, is on eBay. When I look on there, I type in Hornby 00 free rail and then I go and have a look at items that are ending soonest. And I look down, and if there's nobody got any bids on and they're a good price, I might just stick the minimum bid and then just forget it. And then later on, a little thing pops up to say you have won this. I'm So most of my track, I've actually purchased very cheaply um, on eBay. With the points, um, if you don't know, some people do, some people don't. There are basically two types. And you, the way you'll know is by looking underneath, you can see they're different. Now this one, the current goes up both. So all of the rails are live. Uh, it doesn't matter how you've got the point set, it's live. On this one, as you can see, when you move it, it the direction of the points is where the current is so you can then cut off so you can have another loco standing up in the opposite direction by just moving that so that's how you can tell underneath whether the points will cut off the power or whether they're live if they are live there are there are still ways around that you can buy pieces of track um, which will cut the power i've got some here amongst my stuff yep there's just a little short piece of track like that and what you do is you get a switch which i've got some of those as well um i've just been buying up loads and loads of stuff um, from ebay auctions toy fairs so when you turn that you will put the power to the other side of the track so you can have one loco standing on one part of the track, one loco. So you can drive one loco off. And then when you want to move the other one, you flick the switch and it will liven up. So you have these dead sections, um, which actually, um, they hold quite a value. Um, I've got quite a few of these now because when I build the railway, I obviously want some, some dead areas. So that's the two different types of points. Um, I have a um, the class 20 loco which again is here which is working and what I've got on that I've got I've converted it back because when I got it it didn't have that um, I now run off the actual plungers I have got I'm I've got the hole there for a secondary one at the moment because this loco is not going over points it, it's okay because it's just running backwards and forwards but I just look out for parts, things that don't work with the bits on, and I will get the bit and put that on so that I've then got the two plungers. So then when it goes over a point, it doesn't lose uh, the current. So at the moment, this will just run on the straight. But they're the kind of things that I do. Um, again, you, you can pick these up really cheap. The thing is with the Class 20, it hasn't got a die cast body, it's a plastic body. But it's quite a nice loco. There's hundreds of these around. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that, that's quite a good model to start with as well. Um, wagons and things like that. Um, probably my most expensive wagon, even though I didn't pay a lot for it. But uh, is this green power, don't know how you pronounce it, Ethel, which I believe is, is some substance that... that uh, they ran cars on um, some of the very early garages that had it on their pumps. So this wagon is is it's not it's not um, really good condition, but it is fair condition. Um, and again, that's probably one of the most expensive wagons that I actually own. But I have about sixteen wagons now, all different ones of of these uh, tank wagons. The little tractor because uh, Hornby uh, 00 actually made die cast vehicles as well. I've got two of the tractors at the moment which go on a low load wagons. Um, so I'm just collecting all odd bits, um, various locos, and I tend to buy them if they don't work 
because most times they're quite easy um, to get going. I've got, I've got a few spare parts. This is a one with a, an armature in various bits, a spare armature in there for, uh, for another uh, class 20. And the opposite end for that as well. Um, so if I get a body at some time and some other bits and pieces, I could build another class 20. Again, I just acquire a lot of these bits. Station buildings and things like that. I've got these stations. A lot of this I bought from an auction. I got the big station here. I got three of these um, across a crossing like this, um, which is the one in this box because I've got two of these. So that was boxed as well. And a very old footbridge which is uh, again in its original box um, it's got 15 pound on there so I don't know kind of what that was no, normally if you look around it's also got five pound written on there as well so just you can look around on the boxes there's different prices so there's probably um, someone sold it at that price since this uh, is the box for the through station that's got 23 and 6 in old money written on there. And of course some of the stations have an orange roof. And I believe the older ones have the green roof. So that's, that's a more modern one. And then somewhere here I believe in its original box again. Which has got a green roof. So this is a green roof version which is an earlier one as you can see there they're all in immaculate condition and you can pick these up quite cheap so i've got all of those stations that footbridge and a crossing and with the postage it was about 50 pounds so i don't think that was too bad i think this has a price on it somewhere yeah 18 shillings and seven pence this was in old money and that's the original box for it as well a lot of people you you can even sell the boxes because i'm acquiring quite a few boxes now and I, I'm not a person that likes boxes. It's nice when they come in the box, but um, I would sooner somebody buy the box and uh, I, I get rid of that because I'd like to put these just nicely in a, a big plastic container. I don't know if anyone, uh, if you do know or you don't know, most people obviously will know. The Hornby 3 rail comes in these blue and the 2 rail comes in the red. I mean, these boxes, just, just the design of them boxes, I don't know, there's just something about them. Um, they just, just look really nice. So this is what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just accruing as much track as I can, points and all the rest of it, ready to build this railway. Um, got stuff falling on the floor everywhere here. So I buy little bundles like that. Um, there was a guy, I bought the, the first two ovals I think it was uh, on eBay. There was the inner and outer oval complete, uh, which was about £15. And then just pay a bit of postage. And that was it. So that got my first bit of track. Um, that got me going on that. I've got crossings. I've got all sorts. Um, I've even got some box points. But uh, that's it. But they're no different to the others. So, so... The best thing to do is, you know, go to toy fairs. If you can't get out, look on eBay. If, if you go on the internet, I know I keep on about it, but the thing is nowadays, um, especially for modeling equipment and stuff, there aren't that many model shops and there aren't that many model shops around um, where we kind of live. So um, unless you can travel miles to get it, I'm afraid mail order is, is just how it is nowadays but um yes so my plan is to build this railway i've got coaches as well so it's not all just wagons and i like the old ones i, I don't go for immaculate things that are top top money yes you can buy them really nice these are a little bit on the tatty side but i think i bought these for about a fiver each you know for a coach five pound for a coach you know so with that little uh, N2, I've got the little southern one with two little coaches on the back. It looks good and it sounds good as it runs around. The same 
with uh, other different liveries, Midland region ones and so on. Uh, got some LMS. Yeah, they're, they're, they're all the same. They're, they're just litho printed on the outside. But again, they sound nice as they rattle along. And uh, I, I don't go for real... If you really want mint stuff, then obviously it's uh, going to cost a lot of money. But it does. this stuff is quite old and it runs very well um, for its age. So I don't know whether a lot of the more the modern stuff that we got nowadays is going to run like that or not. But uh, anyway, we probably won't be around to find out. But uh, this old stuff, the signal boxes, you can pick them up. Well, from about five or upwards, it just depends on where you are. This one could do with a good clean. But um, yeah, that's, uh, I think it's really good stuff. So anyway, thank you. So uh, we'll... Uh, I'll be making some more videos, so keep watching, subscribe to the channel, and um, I'll show you the progress of the free rail uh, model railway when I start building it. Thank you.